raised up. Fizz up your festivities. <laughs> Hello everybody, it is Friday Eve, right? <laughs> Welcome back to another Q10 Live. I'm your host, Le Earn, and as always, I will be bringing the best to you with my very best efforts. If you're interested in today's products, we have them all pinned on the Q10 app as usual. And if you're watching from YouTube or Facebook, hello, welcome. If you want to get anything today, they are wonderful, wonderful products. Feel free to just go down into the description box below. All the links are neatly put there for you guys to just click in and, you know, get those items. And we are also live on TikTok, Instagram as well. Hello, welcome. But we always encourage you guys to download our lovely Q10 app, okay? Because on those platforms, you are not able to access the shops there to get our wonderful items. You have to download our app. So if you have not downloaded our app, Please do so right now. You don't really have much to lose, okay? The app is free, yeah? Hello, K-World. Welcome, welcome. And by downloading the app, right, I can straight away reply to you guys like how I just replied to K-World. I can straight away see uh, the chat box, okay? It is much 
faster. So if you guys got any burning questions, uh, downloading the app is the way to go where I will respond the fastest, okay? But uh, on other platforms, we will try our best also as well. Uh. SodaStream, you bought already. Today, got new stuff from SodaStream, okay? So uh, please watch on. And we also have our highlighted popular daily deals in the item drawer as well. Just a few extra stuff that we felt that you guys will probably want, okay? So feel free to just take a look-see and then add to cart if you if it uh, strikes your fancy. And please give our seller of the day a follow. We are Soda Stream. They always come back. Thank you so much for supporting us. Their products are always uh, well sought after and a lot of people buy like KWO, like that, okay? So, um, it being just me today, we will be doing Q-Chat! And it's been some time since I did Q chats with you guys. So there's tons of stuff to update you guys with, okay? Things happening around in Singapore. So finally, finally, I did talk about this a few streams, many streams back actually, that about the Nintendo shop. And it is finally open. I think last week, right? And it is open all the way to January 1st, okay? So there's still plenty of time to check it out. From what I saw on opening day, right? The queues are freaking insane. So I will not... Uh, advise you guys to go right now, I would say let the crowd die off a little first. Uh. And they have this queuing system where uh, when you reach there, if it's very crowded, you will not be able to enter the shop immediately. They will give you a queue ticket to that says like, uh, like let's say you are there at like 11 a.m. Then the queue ticket says, please come back at like 2 p.m. So you can, you know, just go have your lunch first, then come back at 2 p.m. Then you can enter the, the shop and be able to browse, you know, comfortably because they control the crowd. Okay, if it's too crowded, right, nobody's going to have a fun time. So, you know, it's a good way. It's actually a very normal way of doing things in Japan. So they implemented that in Singapore. So I'm glad that Singaporeans are, you know, following the rules and stuff. Okay, and if you have been to Orchard Road recently, Orchard Road is now all decked out for the festive season. Uh, they have like cotton candy clouds and they are also promoting sustainability. So the light up decos that you see right now in Orchard Road, right? They are actually reusing the LED lights from like previous years and some decors from like previous years as well, okay? And solar panels are also used to, uh, to collect energy in the daytime. And then at night, they flash everybody, okay? So, awesome. And if you guys want to just head out there and bask in the Christmas atmosphere, you can go over to Shaw House, Nian City, and Plaza Singapura. Yeah, and then uh, for each place, right, they have different stuff. So, I think maybe uh, one of them has like double-story carousels. Uh, they have like Ferris wheels, they have arcades, like they're playing the game, the pew 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 and thing. <laughs> and then they have food trucks, bouncy castles for the little ones, and a balloon dome as well, okay? So I'm not sure which one has what, so I think a quick Google will let you know exactly what you're looking for. So if, let's say, you're aiming for food trucks, like then, you know, probably a lot of like Christmas theme food going around okay and then uh plans for the upcoming 2024 celebration also uh it was just released okay you know the 20224 countdown there will be a fireworks musical called star island that's the name of the, the the show okay and these fireworks will light up at intervals in the hour leading up to midnight and there's also light projection shows at the Fullerton Hotel, the Singapore Merlion and the Art Science Museum at MBS, okay? I'm the kind of person you'll never see me out on New Year's Eve one, okay? Because I hate crowds so badly. I'd rather watch the countdown at the comfort of my own home, okay? I mean, sure, the atmosphere outside is great, but then when everything is over and you have to fight your way home, right? It's not fun at all, lah, okay? You experience that like once in your life, right? I don't think you'll want to do that ever again, okay? So, you know, um, if you're out, then please like remember to take care of yourself, okay? Uh, remember to like hydrate and stuff because yeah, crowds are crowds are not fun, unless you're unless you love crowds. <laughs> and uh, returning this year is the Ice Magic Winter Wonderland, and this time uh, the slow the snow slopes will be taller and longer, and it will come with a dual lane ice slide. I don't know if you guys have uh, gone there last year, but I personally went and. Uh, it's like, a, imagine like a giant tent that is like super winter aircon, okay? So before going in, right, they actually provide you with large 
uh, puffy jackets and gloves and boots, right, for you to protect yourself. I don't know why I so bodo. Uh. Last year, I went in a, in a dress, okay, so I was freezing my butt off. But uh, the jacket helped. Everything was very nice. I also did down the, I did the, the ice slide thing and then all the ice went out my skirt. It was great. <laughs> but it was a very interesting experience, okay, because, you know, in Singapore, we do not have winter. That was kind of like the closest thing you can get already because they also have like the snow machines that is constantly spewing out uh, snow and very fast right, your hair will just be like filled with like the snow if you stand under the machine okay so you know be mindful of that so they, they are bringing it back uh, it's going to be bigger better so uh, if you have a family with kids right i'm sure they will love it otherwise go overseas uh, and then experience the real thing <laughs> But yeah, uh, so they will also have like a ton of other cool stuff as well. Oh, they have a go-kart area at the Bayfront event space from December 14th to 31st. So if you guys are a fan of like go-karts, right, uh, please take your chance to do so. I think very rare do we have this kind of thing. I think maybe Sentosa have. Uh, or is it like a uh, event time period that time also but yeah not the first time in Singapore but you know uh, rare as I would say so if you guys want to enjoy something new fun and cool please go ahead and do that and um PSLE results also just came out wow I cannot I cannot remember how my PSLE went I can remember my scores but I can, I think O levels was way more stressful than PSLE okay PSLE was just the first hurdle and then now they had to spend the next four years studying for for O levels, crazy, right? Like, yeah. And I like how um, <coughs> uh, nowadays, like they started to put out articles, t talking to parents and telling them about how they should be mindful of how to react to their kids' results if it's bad, right? <laughs> um, you know, back in my era, like results were everything. Okay, now now the education system has really changed a lot already. But back then, everybody was just judged by the same level. But now, education system is slightly different where, you know, you can learn according to your level. Do, do you understand what I mean? So they are much more lenient in that sense and they also encourage uh, students to focus on more holistic learning as well, right? So yeah, we didn't get that last time. So I would honestly say reading about it now, I feel very jealous. Because last time, if you're bad, you're bad. If you're bad, then you're treated as stupid already. Like, it was very, very sad, to be honest. And like, um, like even though my parents say that, oh, it's okay if you get like B or C because you tried your best, but you can clearly see how disappointed they are that you didn't get A. <laughs> it's just an Asian family thing, right? Because they always be like, yeah, uh, you need to have good scores to get into a good school, get into a good university and all that, all that thing. But nowadays, it's really less about um, it's really less about getting into the greatest of schools, okay? I think people should really focus on um, doing well within your means, right? So they encourage uh, parents now to like when choosing schools, right? Of course, you want to have a good school, of course. Like what parent does not want, right? But if your child's results, right, are not able to hit that benchmark for the good school, don't bother trying. You're just wasting your slot, to be honest. Straight away, right? Because you get to choose... Um, I'm talking for PSLE. I think you choose like maybe six schools according to priority. Like number one, you put which one is the number school, number one school that you want to enter. Okay. So like uh if you let's say put ABC school, right? If your score can't even hit the ABC school minimum, right? Like straight away you're just you just wasted your prime spot. And then you your child can get number two. But then because another child put uh, the second choice as their first choice, right? The other child will actually get priority first compared to your child, okay? So that's why you really need to choose schools within your child's um, level, okay? And like, you know, just because you did not get into a good school doesn't mean it's an immediate failure, doesn't mean that your kid is automatically failure for life, right? And they really need to get out of this mindset. Just go to that school and just do well within that school law. To be honest, I would really rather... <laughs> Smart, smart brain, brain, um, brain tactic. Okay, if let's say I'm a very high scoring student, right? I don't want to go to a high scoring school because I will just compete with all the high scoring students. Why not go to a normal one and then just be number one, <laughs> right? I think I think that will that will be great. That will be great. I I personally went to a very average uh, secondary school and I did very averagely lah. Okay, so nothing to to talk 
nothing to talk about but yeah you know look where i am now yay q10 <laughs> uh, so let's uh, talk about the brand now <laughs> enough about my childhood <laughs> let's talk about singapore's number one sparkling water maker soda stream they're actually a part of pepsico uh, founded in 1903 and continues be to be the world's number one brand for sparkling water makers and soda stream they enable consumers to enjoy good bubbly water at home without the hassle while helping to save the planet and we'll talk about that later as well so uh, soda streams bubbles right they are just so much better than the gassy stuff that you get outside okay they are just much healthier they are very easy to make very light woo, very light to carry and just overall better for the planet you know uh, replacing thousands of single-use plastic bottles with just one reusable soda stream bottle okay so um because you buy this right you are able to just you know make your fun drinks at home so let me tell you how wonderful it is and you can quench your thirst in the most environmentally friendly way so promotions what promotions do we have today from soda stream you get $15 off minimum $150 spent and if you spend a minimum of $300 you will get $35 off okay it's not too hard to hit so let's uh, move to our very first item which is this the soda stream spirit white sparkling water maker starter kit Yes, if you are new to Soda Stream, this is definitely for you, okay? So, original price, it was 179 But now, they take off the 100 You get $79, this is really, really good, okay? And it's not just this machine. You get this machine, you get a Soda Stream Spirit Icy Blue Sparkling Water Maker. You get one, one liter uh, BPA-free reusable carbonating bottle. And you will also get uh, one... 60 litre CO2 cylinder, okay? And one cylinder itself, right? You can make 60 bottles of sparkling water. And the great thing about this is that there is no need for any electricity, okay? You can carry this around. You know, if you want to, right? You can bring this overseas. Go bring it to your friend's house, okay? And then they don't need to charge your electricity bill because you can just use it as it is, okay? And it also comes with a one-year official soda stream singapore warranty so you know great to have even though very highly unlikely that you will break down but you know good to have warranty anyway so uh, some of you might be wondering is it possible to use like other kinds of bottles with this machine technically kind of yes but we don't recommend it no 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 very very bad okay i mean um basically if the bottle, if you use other bottles, right, if it doesn't fit properly, right, it might drop while you pump in the CO2 and then you'll just be dealing with like a huge mess and then you'll be crying, you'll be rolling on the floor and be like, oh, what is life? Why I do this? Okay, so don't do that. Um, it's also very um, possible that you might damage the machine itself. Okay, you pay this much and then you, you spoil it. Don't do that. So that's why I very, very highly recommend that you buy the Soda Stream official bottle because it's safer. So the model of the machine, what's the difference? Okay, good question. I wish I could answer. But Soda Stream has a really a ton of different models and they have their own different functions. So some bottles might not be able to uh, use on... the sim This is the simplest one. Okay, basically, this is the simplest machine that you can get from them already. They do have other ones that have like other users. So uh, you can just go to their website and honestly, you can search for those, okay? We have featured this and another blue model before. If you want to check them out, you can go to our previous videos. Oh, it's the same but different colour. Ah, I see. I'm so sorry because usually Tori is the one that uh, does Soda Stream. So I'm like relatively new to this. But yes, thank you so much for answering the question. Thank you so much for asking the question, okay? So um, feel free to just go to their official website and check out the other models they have, okay? I do know that some of their special bottles only work with certain machines and stuff. So you do need to check. Kewa bought the blue model. Good choice, good sir. Okay. Yes, very, very worth. Okay. We have previous promotions where you buy this, you get other free stuff. But today's is the starter kit where you get the machine, you get the bottle, and you get the CO2 cylinder. So, 
uh, yes, we always recommend that you buy their official bottles. There are different kinds as well, okay? But this is the one that comes with it and it will 100% work very well with this, okay? So very, very safe. Uh, please always use their official bottles to work with their machine. So let's talk about sparkling water. So sparkling water might sound a little bit fancy to some of us, but they do come with benefits, okay? It is not just fancy water. What it does is that um, firstly, it reduces dehydration. So just like plain water, sparkling water is just gas inside, right? It is still water. It will contribute to your daily fluid intake. And some people just don't like the taste of plain water. They think water is boring, okay? They, but they still need to drink water, right? So they prefer the taste and fizz of the sparkling water, therefore making it more enjoyable to drink and therefore, you know, it will encourage more fluid intake. And sparkling water can also help with your weight management for people who are trying to manage their weight because it is actually very low in calories and sugar. Uh, if let's say you put in the drink mixers and stuff like okay i think consuming just the water itself is just the same as consuming uh the, the water normal water without the fizz um but yeah so most types of sparkling waters that you see right are calorie free because it's really just carbon dioxide infused with the water okay so this will make it a uh, more healthier a uh, better alternative to the sugary soft drinks that you drink outside and other sweetened beverages. So if you are to crave something gassy, right, just drink water, fizzy water, sparkling water, okay? It's just so much healthier and that's how you help with your weight. Uh, so you can also improve digestion. So the carbonation in the sparkling water, right, may stimulate the production of stomach acid, which then can aid in the digestion of food and absorption of nutrients. And studies have shown, right, that it will actually also help um, the elderly in improving their swallowing ability okay if they have like difficulty swallowing um, liquids uh, they found that people who drank uh, old people who drank carbonated water they actually have an easier time swallowing compared to just drinking plain water <laughs> honestly i've seen hospitals i like, trying to get old people to drink water it's really like a, a very a very tough time for the nurses okay so maybe by introducing this then the, the old people will be more enthusiastic about you know drinking drinking water okay so why should you get soda stream that is whole that is the whole purpose of this life okay you can control the level of carbonation to your liking uh, it is cheaper in the long run and carbonated drinks from soda stream right they actually last longer than the commercial brands that you see outside because the ones outside right they are often transported from different countries uh, over long distances they are stored in warehouses on the shelves at the supermarket for super long periods of time okay and also subjected to high temperatures. So by then, you when you open, right, actually it's not as gassy as when it was first uh, produced, right? So this one is fresh. Get it straight, fresh, okay? And then uh, when you use this machine, use Soda Stream, there will be no more single-use plastic. Save the earth. We love the earth, okay? And then when you have guests over for like a party, or you want to impress like a date that you invited to your house party. Hopefully not the first day. <laughs> you can up your cocktail game, okay? Impress them with this machine. So, um, a little bit more about this product. It is actually 13 cm wide. It is 42.9 cm tall and 18.5 cm in depth. So let us demonstrate how to use and hopefully I will not <laughs> mess this up. Uh, okay, well since Tori tried all the flavors, it is my turn to choose my preference. You are right, and we also have a new flavor today that Tori hasn't tried. I'll let her try it later. Yeah, yeah, that is a new flavor, this one. Okay, later, later I'll let you try, okay? So, uh, back to the demonstration. So this is the machine itself. It is incredibly lightweight, okay? I can lift it up very effortlessly. I can hold it with one hand, look, I, I can weight lift with it, no, I'm kidding. But yeah, very, very light. So, you just need to pop this open, pull it apart gently, don't need a lot of effort, okay? So, this is the cover. And then we have the cylinder already inside for us, okay? But let me take it out and show you how to uh, put it back in also. Okay, so you basically unscrew it. 
unscrew it and then you lift it up lift the machine up because it's very light very easy right so it's like that already so when you get your own cylinder right you just need to insert it like this through the hole make sure it catches and then you just turn and, um, and when you cannot turn it anymore that's when you know it's pretty much secure la, okay and you will not like come out very very sturdy so then you just pop the cover back on like so like so make sure it snaps okay make sure it snaps and secure and then it is ready okay now we have the bottle so just to mention again the bottle will come with the machine so you will not be bottleless you can straight away uh, make your own fizzy drinks ready so i have my water with me also so this bottle right uh, let's turn on the second cam so this bottle right it has a line here as you can see eventually <laughs> so there's this line here um please do not feel Please do not fill it uh, above the line, okay? So this is the maximum. This is this is where your water needs to be. Otherwise, the nozzle will not touch the water. Okay, so just follow that line, okay? Very easy. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot to open this thing. <laughs> I honestly always thought that sparkling water for, was for like rich people because you always see in restaurant when they sell sparkling water, right? It's always like two digits one. But now no need. You can make your own fancy water. I'm filling it up too slow. Ah, it's on my pants! This is way longer than intended. Do I have enough? Wait, 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 wait. No! Because I am... I don't... Okay, a little bit more. Almost done. Yeah! Okay, just nice. A bit more? Seek it. Okay. Now, um... The carpet is wet, but uh, we shall ignore that. But yes, I have my bottle filled with water, cold water to be exact. You need to pull this thing out, okay? Pull this thing out, so then you can insert the bottle much easier. So slide it in, and then push it back in. Correct, right? Okay, woo! <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see, but um, the nozzle will be touching the water just slightly, okay? you It has to touch the water, otherwise you'll just be pumping air above, right? Then the bottle will just fly out and explode. Like, we don't want that, okay? So, um, the it is safe to pump the water now. And you can pump only up to maximum five times. And that is for maximum fizz, okay? If you are someone who does not like it overly fizzy, you can pump three times and that is enough already but to be honest if you just want to pump one time right no no one is stopping you you just want like a little a touch of this okay but just don't go above five because if it's above five then it's very dangerous already it might just come out okay so let us pump the fizz so just be brave and press it down one two three Four. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to stop at four. I heard a noise and I'm scared. It's okay, it's okay. One more. One more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Seven times K will no. No. Ooh, you hear that? That's the CO2. And there you have it. A bottle of fizzy water, of fancy water. Okay, make sure to press it back in. And then, uh, yeah, you are done. Very easy to use. If I can do it, everybody can do it, okay? So, uh, like I mentioned, this uh, first listing, right, we have is the starter kit. So you will get the machine, you will get the bottle, and then you will get a free uh, CO2 cylinder as well. But let's say if you are a bit 
worried that you use, you don't know how much you use already. And then uh, you have a party and then you realize that you ran out of gas and you want to prevent that embarrassing scenario. Okay, uh, SodaStream does sell the cylinders by themselves as well. So we have a bundle of two original retail price 119 but now you can get it at 79 so that's 79 for two of these okay so it's really quite a steal so yeah you know as they say all good things come to an end and once you run out of the good old co2 you won't be able to make that fancy water anymore which is why we encourage you to always keep a spare lying around so you don't want to stop making drinks in the middle of like a party and then everybody is just like boo <laughs> okay or you really want you come home and you really want like a nice gassy soda on a hot day but then you realize that you ran out of the co2 gas and that really sucks okay so let's say if you bought the previous deal right uh it only comes with one cylinder so i would say it is an excellent idea to get this bundle of two as well as you know as spares so you don't have to like sorry uh, but that doesn't mean that you have to keep buying cans every time you run out because what SodaStream does is that they provide you with this wonderful service where they can actually go to your house, right? And then exchange your empty cans for new ones at a much cheaper price. Really? I thought Singapore... I think Singapore also have that, no man? But I mean, you can also go to the retail store and, and do it, right? They do have retail? Oh, I'm so sorry. But yeah, uh, apparently they do have this service, but I'm not sure whether it applies to Singapore or not. Uh, do check <laughs> check that out first. I will also do some checking, okay? But uh, because it's all about sustainability in like the States, like SodaStream actually does um, this exchange thing. So if we do have a retail store, k well, do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you do replacement at sell fixed store at half the price? Right, yes, because sell fixed store got sell soda stream. No man? No, no, don't take bread. That's another. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that one is a DIY store. Yeah, it's so Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I was just reading the comment, okay? But yeah, you can go to the retail store with a very specific name that you can see in the chat. Uh, you can do a replacement there and then you can replace your tank because soda stream is all about sustainability okay so um <clears throat> soda streams carbon dioxide cylinders are food grade certified by the european union with the highest standards of manufacturing it is made out of a very light aluminium weighing only 1.2 kg each containing food grade 425 grams of carbon dioxide dioxide gas with exclusive safety valve patents okay so each uh, carbon dioxide cylinder can produce up to 50 to 60 liters of bubble water and it's very easy to um disassemble and it's very safe okay but this service is only for people who bought the original soda stream co2 cylinder okay if you get other brand one other you you cannot exchange yeah so um while waiting for them to refill your empty cylinders, then your your mind would be okay. Singapore cannot change. But then K will manage to though. Oh, I you, you can bring it to the shop to change. Ah, okay, okay. I'm so sorry. This regard what I said just now. You can replace the cylinders, but you have to go down to the shop. Oh, they will still charge you, but they'll charge you for the gas only. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so they'll... The yeah, so you can go back to the store and then you actually save money because technically you're not replacing the tank. You're just uh, getting charged for the CO2 gas and they will just, you know, uh, fill up your tank. So, yeah, your mind can be at ease, right? Because uh, you have spare tanks lying at home and, you know, just buy them from Q10 because it is such a great price now. So that's it for the cylinders. Now we can move on to something colourful and fun, which is the Soda Stream drink mixers. Oh, 
Okay, so uh, original price, one bottle was going for $9.90, but they dropped it down to $8.90 for you guys. And honestly, right, there's nothing wrong with loving uh, your sodas, but it is common knowledge that sodas tend to be high in sugar, so it's not exactly very healthy, okay, if you're looking to like lose weight and stuff. Um, but we get it, you know, craving sugar is what makes us human, so Soda Stream is here to provide you with a healthier and more sustainable solution to curb those sugar cravings, okay? Uh, their selection of flavors, they only have one third of the sugar found in regular soda drinks and their quality ingredients right, are derived from fruit essences, natural cane sugar, which are sure to help you lower your sugar intake without lowering your enjoyment. So there is no high fructose, fructose uh, corn syrup or aspartame, so this mix can be easily transformed into a delicious drink simply by adding it to the carbonated water which we already have so um, this 440 millimeters container right it can make up to nine liters of drinks so you can definitely uh, create very awesome and delicious beverages for serving at your big party or you know class get together so let us introduce the flavors that we have today so we have um the ones from the classic line which is the classic cream soda okay the classic ginger beer and the classic strawberry so this is the classic line okay and we cannot uh, forget the diet cola and basically from what i saw right it replaced the normal cola already i don't think they sell the normal normal cola anymore already because soda stream cares for your health as well and then we have the new flavor which is called the Waters Lemonade and this is extra healthy because super low in calories and even has added vitamins like vitamin E, B3, B6, D3 and I cannot wait to try this. Actually right, I have the, I bought canned versions of this, okay, and like I drink the canned ones quite often at home. so. It's already supposed to be like quite healthy already and this one can be even healthier, I don't know, uh, let, let's find out. You have tasted raspberry and cola, you can say that cola is the first. Okay, but now you got diet cola, more healthier, okay. And uh, so, if let's say you are looking to flavorize like one liter of the face water, right, you need to fill up one cap of the, of the, of the flavor. So one cap is like this. One cap is like this, okay? So just need to fill it up. There's a line inside if I'm not wrong, yeah, okay? And then I uh, just fill up that line and then pour the whole thing in. I will not be pouring one flavor inside because if not, I'll be running back and forth trying to replace the face water. So what I'm going to do is that just like Tori, I'm, I have little glasses with me. I will be pouring it in and pouring just a little bit of the flavor inside to just, you know, do a general taste test. And fun fact, um, the last time I did this with Tori right, Soda Stream, it, it is not um, my first run with Soda Stream, but Tori has been doing all the, all the previous Soda Streams very recently. But the first Soda Stream I did with her was like seven months ago, very long time ago, okay, in March. Uh, we played a game where our producers mixed drinks uh, and then compared, we had to guess which one is the one on the market and which one is the Soda Stream counterpart. And then both of us, right, if you go back to the video and see, both of us thought that the soda stream mixers right, were the originals because it actually tasted better than the originals. But it's healthier. So it really blew our minds, okay? Really amazing. So, um, yeah, so one bottle of the flavored drink, right? You can produce up to like nine liters of the de delicious sparkling water. Uh, that means you are using less packaging. So, you know, less manufacturing, less transportation costs. So really very... Um, so much cheaper and more environmentally friendly. So come on, let us try. Ooh, that that is gassy. I hope it's enough. I think it's enough, right? Ooh, that is gassy. Okay. Ooh. 
Oh, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, perhaps I put this down first. Uh. Oh, no, I put this at the side. Okay, which one should we try first? Shall we go with the classic line? So, mm, okay, let's go with raspberry first. Okay, we go this way. No. Go this way. We saved the, the newest one for the last one, okay? So, raspberry. Oh, let me use the second can, sorry. So, technically the way you should do it, right, is that you're supposed to put the syrup into the bottle. Uh, right now, I'm doing it the cup method so that, you know, we can have, uh, we can taste test more than one flavor. But the correct way of doing it is having to put one cap of this mix into this one fully uh, filled fizzed water, okay? So, please don't do it my way, uh. do it the correct way, okay? Well, that is, whoa, that is very, very sweet. Let's put a little bit. I think uh, it would be easier if you like, let's say, get more bottles from, from them and then you can have like one bottle of each flavor, like fully prepared in your house already. So that is also another way you can do it. Do you think I put enough? Am I too conservative? Because like I remember her previous stream, right, was like a lot more. <laughs> Wait, I need to mix it. Oh, no, it's like not even changing color. I put too little, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, can we have the second cam? Thank you. So I put very little. The colour barely changed. I know, right? Okay, I'll put more. Be I mean, the great thing about this, right, is that you can adjust to however a sweet you like, okay? I I'm not a giant fan of sweet stuff. Tori put in way more when I checked the previous stream. Okay, I think this should be, this should be enough. It's so, it's so fizzy. Oh. Um, yeah, I think I need to put more. <laughs> okay, the way it is now, right, it's like, it's, I taste more of the fizz than the flavour, but uh, it has a hint of sweetness. So some people might like that. They just want a little bit of flavour, but they want to consume water, you know, to increase their daily fluid intake. So if water just doesn't taste nice, just a little bit for just a little bit of flavour, okay. Mm. But yeah, this tastes slightly similar to the to the brand that I cannot mention but starts with Ara. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know the one with the little dancing berries <laughs> that have a this one. So if you if you guys are into that, uh you can get this one. This is the raspberry flavor, okay? Classic raspberry. So let me put this aside. We still got four more to go. The next one I'm gonna try is the cream soda, the green bottle, this one. Okay, this one is very sweet according to Tori. You you made it fluorescent green the last time. Oops. Oops. <laughs> now I was like the raspberry wasn't sweet enough. Okay. Oh! Yeah, it's much sweeter than the raspberry one. It kind of reminds me of the melon sodas that I drink in Japan. Is this the same thing? I haven't had this like in, in Singapore like, in a very long time. Eh. It's like they don't really sell this kind of like drinks in Singapore anymore. So usually like you have to get them overseas. But now in soda stream, you can enjoy this, okay? If you prefer a much 
sweeter taste right the cream soda is actually is is i think it will hit that spot and if you think about it right as sweet as it is it's actually much healthier than whatever you can find in the market so this is a very good alternative if you're you have people in your family who want to have like a diet but then they cannot get rid of those sweet drinks right this is really very comparable it's very comparable the sweetness is comparable to the ones on the market okay and then uh but this is a much healthier option okay next one is the ginger and this one is tori's favorite uh flavor let's see whether is it mine <laughs> cola oh Like, I, 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 I did try this before, I just forgot how it tasted like I think a lot of our colleagues like this one right? This one, is it, is it something that you commonly use in alcohol as well? Mm. Do people drink this when they're sick or so? Like hot version or something right? Cold? Oh! <laughs> you mean lukewarm carbonated <laughs> drinks? <are? laughs> so we recommend that you please, um, once you carbonated your water, please put that in the fridge, okay? Put that in the fridge. Don't leave it out in the open. How? How to describe this? It feels like something that old people would like. <laughs> I, I, hmm. It's sour? Is it sour? It tastes sour eh. It's sour carbonated. I think you can add some alcohol in it to like make it more of a refined taste. For some reason I envision Tori doing that. <laughs> I know but when, But you can use the industry to make cocktails and stuff also ma. Yeah so this is like for the adulty adults. <laughs> the, the adults who want to adult harder. Okay, long day at work ah. Long day at work health conscious adults, correct. Okay, but if you have kids, right, just give them cream soda. <laughs> They'll be very happy with cream soda. Give them ginger beer, just tell them the alpha cream one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't, think, I don't think kids will be fond of ginger beer, but uh, raspberry and cream soda confirm. Okay, so uh, now we can move on to diet cola. Let's see if it's comparable to the normal one on the market. Oh, I haven't opened yet. I'm struggling. Wait, do I need to tear? Can you help me open? Let me open the other one first. Also. I cannot see. Yeah. yeah, I need scissors. It's okay. I use my fingernail. Okay, I got the other one already. Thank you. Okay, so come. Diet Cola. Ooh. So uh, I think you guys would know that Diet Cola is uh, supposed to be modeled after the, 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 the very famous red brand outside, okay? So let's see if it tastes like their version of Diet Cola or it tastes like the normal cola in terms of sweetness. Diet Cola is supposed to be less sweet, of course. Oh, I, you went down too fast, sorry. It actually tastes like the original flavor to me, eh. Wow, that's... And this is supposed to be diet. Naturally flavored, okay? Please remember, I keep forgetting. It, because it really tastes like the sugary drinks that you, you taste outside, right? I keep forgetting this is supposed to be healthy. So honestly, I shouldn't be feeling any guilt at all. <laughs> but yeah. This is something that I'm very, very used to. Okay, so really very cool. If you want, if you are not too adventurous, right, just go with diet cola. So now we are down to the last one, which is the new flavor. Oh, my stomach's very gassy now. <laughs> okay, low calorie lemonade. Oh, that is sour. Actually, it's 
it's very watery leh. Do I need to shake it? It's actually um, because the rest right are like syrupy. This one feels more like water. Is I feel like <laughs> no, no, I cannot. Yeah. Okay, okay. So you can see how watery it is. It's like pouring water in the water. It's like pouring, yeah. It's like I'm pouring water in the water. Now I don't even know whether I'm mixing it right or not. Oh, that is so powerful. <laughs> that was. <laughs> That was that hit me harder than all the rest, you know. Hey, for the amount that I put inside, right? This is actually very powerful and it tastes very sour. <laughs> Did I put too much now? <laughs> now I'm worried. But it tastes exactly like it tastes stronger than the one I drank at home. The canned version that I drink at home. But it's very delicious otherwise. Very, very refreshing. Very, very refreshing. Oh wow. I actually quite like it. You wanna try? Let me try it. Let me know what you think. Let's let Tori try it. Very powerful, ah. Did I put too much? No, it's, it, nice. it's just nice. But I love it. <laughs> she loves lemons. Do you think this is your new favorite? <laughs> it's really her new favorite, lah. <laughs> so this is a very very interesting, refreshing drink. I love. Wow, she drank the whole. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You wish you can try. Kiro, at this price. Of 890, you can now try the new flavor, okay? I always enjoy like having um fizzy lemonade um on a really hot day. I cannot I cannot explain how refreshing it is. Try it for yourself, okay? So uh please feel free to get your own starter kit and then get some fruit mixes to like you know fizz up your lifestyle a little. So uh we try all the flavors and if you ask me, right, my favorite one would be the lemon, the lemon and the new one. Okay, followed by the diet cola, and then the like that. It's quite opposite of Tori. <laughs> so I don't, I'm not a, the biggest fan, but I can see why some people like it. I guess if I want to drink something sweet and fizzy, I will expect it to be sweet and fizzy lah, right? So um, this is very refreshing. I really like the way it tastes. Very um, very refreshing. And just to remind ourselves, everybody here, right? This is a healthy, a way more healthier than whatever you can get outside, okay? This one's zero sugar. Zero sugar some more, okay? Low calorie. We well, I need a burp. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Too much fizz already. Okay, but we are good, okay? We are going to end the live. So that is the end of all our products. After trying everything today, I do believe that the Q-Bites pick is pretty obvious. It would be the Soda Stream uh, Spirit White Sparkling Water Maker Starter Kit, lah, okay? Because if you don't have this, right, everything else is like you buy for what? <laughs> okay, so please consider getting this. You will get uh, one water maker machine, the Sparkling Water Maker Machine. Sorry, let me do that again. You'll get one Soda Stream Spirit Icy um, Sparkling Water Maker. You will get one one litre BPA-free reusable carbonating bottle and then you get one 60 litre CO2 cylinder, okay? And with this starter kit, right, you can get carbonated drinks anytime at home. You can make delicious and healthy drinks or cocktails to impress your guests and no electricity needed and they even give you one year warranty, okay? And with just one CO2 cylinder, you can make up to 60 bottles of fizzy water so come upgrade your hydration journey with soda stream today highly recommend it yay so if you guys got any concerns uh, about today's stuff uh, feel free to go to our q10 live help they are very helpful of course uh, and you can also live chat with us within working hours and uh, today is Thursday, we will not be having any live tomorrow. So, you know, prepare your wallets, prepare your hearts because next Monday is Cyber Monday on the 27th of November starting at 12pm. Uh, 12pm, okay? Set your calendar, set your alarms right now. Okay, you want to get great discounts on cool tech, uh, nifty gadgets, be sure not to miss it. And then for the following week after Cyber Monday, we will be continuing with your favorite super sale live. But yes, let's concentrate on Cyber Monday first, okay? A, a ton of cool stuff, okay? 
like some products came back and they are even cheaper it's really crazy okay so please do not miss out on cyber monday uh, feel free to purchase everything that you see today on the q10 app you can only get these items at these amazing prices on the q10 app and don't forget to follow us on all our social medias uh, facebook instagram tiktok and join our telegram chat as well okay so that you do not miss out on immediate announcements feel free to share our videos if you enjoy our content share it to your friends because you know q10 always brings the best to you guys and we'll see you guys next monday thank you kwo for the one mummy q see you guys Okay, uh, just to remind you guys, the TikTok Dyson giveaway, I uh, know more already, uh, so no, no point commenting already. But feel free to like, just comment on other videos as well. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next Monday. Bye-bye. Biz.